Hello everyone, in this video, we're gonna cover problem 49 in pre-calculus. So here we go. Tangent squared, All right? So tangent squared. Tangent squared equals one for some x's and for, well, those are nice value of x, right? These are in fact very nice value of x, just one full rotation from the initial arm. And we just happen to get tangent squared equals one. Now, the step number one that I would, I, I would advise you to take is just to use something called t substitution, using another variable to substitute tangent x. And we know that starting from 0 to 360, mostly all values are written out for tangents. So <laughs> here we go. We're going to set t equals tangent x. Kind of makes sense because it's tangent x. And we're solving for t this time. Now. That means that we have t squared equals 1. So thanks to the quadratic equation, we know we get t equals 1 or negative 1. Now let's just try to use step number 2. All right, so step number 2. The second step that you can actually try solving the step of trigonometric equations is that we resubstitute back into x's because we just solved for t, but we're, we're actually looking for x's. Instead of this t, we're just going to write it as x. So we get tangent x tangent x equals 1. And at the same time, we get tangent x equals negative 1. Right. So when do we get tangent x equals 1? When would the slope of the terminal arm becomes 1? Well, I would say x equals 45. So x equals 45. Or the another way to find it is rotate 180 degree counterclockwise or in the clockwise directions. But I'm going to say counterclockwise direction because everything has to deal with positive angles. So we get 225 as well, right? So we get 225. But at the same time, when do we have the slope of the terminal arm being negative 1? Well, we're going to find some terminal arm sitting in the second quadrant and the fourth quadrant. If I give you a little bit of picture for you to understand, well, we're just going to get these terminal arm and this one, such that the rotated amount of angle, that should be x. This becomes 135. And another one that keeps rotated all the way down here, which is going to be 315. So I can tell you that the solutions actually be 135, but at the same time, I can give you 315 as well. Okay, so what, what we're looking for, we're looking for the sum of all possible values. Let's try to add these two up. Well, that becomes 270. And of course, adding these two numbers up, it becomes 5, uh, 4, 5, and 0. All right, so adding these up all together becomes 720. And yes, it makes sense. Why? Because 45 plus 315 becomes 360. 225 and 135 also becomes 360. So adding it up, we get 720. And that becomes the answer.